actually this car was pretty much an accident. So this is one of two. I have a 1993 hatchback LX. And uh, two weeks before my college graduation, I blew the head gasket in my LX and needed a car to drive to my first job, which was in Texas. So I was going to work for a Mustang parts company. I didn't want to drive anything but a Mustang. I didn't have time between Christmas and New Year's to fix my blown head gasket. Uh, so that's where Gramps came from. I bought it bone stock, except for a paint job, with the white top, white interior, turbine wheels sitting about two more feet up off the ground. And uh, it looked like an old man's car and it had the white hair up top, so that's where the name Grandpa Vert came from. So when I got it, it had over 300,000 miles on it. It was already kind of past saving or more money I wanted to put into it. So we decided to leave it rough. We fixed the, the serious rust, like the floor pans, put some subframe connectors in there, and just kind of rolled with the rest. I have completely redone the interior, Coney shocks, lowering springs in the front and the back, and uh, these 18 inch Celine SC replica wheels with a little bit of sauce with my logo and stuff on the, on the spoke and the center cap. Obviously the, the piece de resistance is the uh, Serbinator rear spoiler that finished off that stock car look to go with my four point Maxima Motorsports roll bar in the interior. A T56, 8.8 rear end, been shortened two inches, gas pump, Holly Terminator X, 01 Cobra motor, forged internals, uh, TKM built the bottom end, uh, on three, 70 millimeter turbo, makes a little power. I think that's pretty much everything. Right now it made 500 horsepower and 570 foot pounds of torque. I want to put a CO2 system on it so I can push the boost up, see what kind of power we can get out of it, but that's about it. It's gonna stay looking like this because I don't know, I dig it. <laughs> I uh, own my own business uh, with my girlfriend, Emily, uh, Lou Creative. So we uh, are a full service creative agency that does photography, graphic design, anything visual that you could want aside from video. Uh, so we've been in the industry for over 10 years combined. Like you said, I started at a, a Mustang parts company, uh, worked for NASCAR for five years, and uh, recently was at Stuart Haas Racing Working with their four cars, their five cars, across the uh, Xfinity and Cup Series in NASCAR, um, everything I do is, is cars. Since I could put a crayon to a piece of paper, I've been drawing them. And I uh, used to get in trouble in elementary school for drawing cars and, and doing stuff instead of paying attention. But um, it's all paid off. I came to my first Mustang week back in uh, 2013, and I've been coming ever since. And I really wouldn't have the career that I have without Mustang week, being able to meet people like CJ Pony Parts and, uh, and other, other folks in the industry that have help build me up and, and give me uh, clients and give me work to, to get to where I'm at today. Been here quite a few years. This is the first time the car's made it, so first and last, I guess. I'm really, really heartbroken that this is the last Mustang week. Um, I mentioned before, I really wouldn't have a career without it. Got to meet people that, you know, I, I'm now really good friends with from the first time. I got to see Tom Clark's uh, pace car the first time I was ever here. Um, so I, got, I didn't get to meet him then, but I got to know who he was. and. Um, I just remember walking around and just seeing everyone here, y'all and, and all the other companies, and um, just feeling like I was close to it, that I could touch it. It's the benchmark every year to get your cars ready. Everybody's got mods that they need to do, got things that they need to, to attend to, and Mustang Week was always your deadline. Um, sort of like a Mustang guy SEMA, if, if you will. It kind of sucks, but I guess we'll see, see what happens. I'm really looking forward to seeing what comes next, what becomes our next benchmark. Um, but after so much history and so much opportunity, I think that's the biggest heartbreaker for me is, is seeing the younger generation uh, come up and lose that opportunity. Because uh, you could be someone like me and show up as a nobody and five years later, six years later, be hosting the biggest event of Mustang Week. There's so many things you can do, so many people you can talk to, so many things you can touch that Mustang Week really allowed you to, to make it your own. And uh, that's what I'm gonna miss the most.